Welcome to Geography of Ethiopia and the Horn. In this video, we try to see the basic concepts of Geography of Ethiopia and the Horn that is found in Chapter One. Just uh, let's begin from uh, defining of the term geography. Geography is a scientific study of the Earth. So, what kinds of scientific study which comprise of several phenomena, just like geology? climatology, vegetation, and other things that must be included in scientific study of the Earth. And again, it analyzes and describes the spatial and the temporal variations of uh, physical, biological, and the human phenomena. How physical aspect just like soil is just uh, distributed, especially with respect to, again, uh, temporal time are distributed over the earth surface can be studied by uh, geography and again the basic concerns phenomena just like uh, biological aspects like uh, vegetation how they are just distributed spatially and temporally and over, over the earth surface that must be the basic concern of geography can be and again the relationship is human being can have with respect to the physical and the biological phenomena of the earth must be under consideration. So, geography must be defined by this way, a scientific study of the earth that analyze and describe the spatial and the temporal variations of the physical world, of the biological phenomena, with respect to their interrelationships and interactions with human beings. That must be under consideration in defining of uh, geography. The scope of geography is this. So geography is holistic and uh, interdisciplinary fields because the huge scopes of geography is the four spheres that is the atmosphere lithosphere hydrosphere and the biosphere so every kind of discipline is study about these four spaces for that matter geography concerned within other uh, disciplines why for where we said this is interdisciplinary discipline that is and the holistic which take into consideration other subjects. Approaches of geography is there, that is the way of uh, studying geography. Geography can be studied by two means or by two methods, topically and again by using of regional approach. In topical approach, geography study spatial phenomena by taking into account only single phenomena. If it is, for example, temperature, temperature only. If it is soil, soil only. If it is geology, geology are just uh, described and analyzed in that aspect. If it is original, by taking into account specific boundary, it concerns or studies all geographic phenomena that is found in that boundaries for example the best example of regional geography is uh, geography of ethiopia and the horn the way of studying geography by using of boundaries that is themes of geography is there so five themes of geography that must be included during studying of geography is there the most known themes of geography is just locations Location is just a particular place or positions that can be expressed by latitude or longitude if it is absolute locations or by adjacency if it is uh, relative locations. So most studies of geography began with the mentioning of these themes that is location. The most important themes in geography is location. The second place is other uh, important themes of geography. Place is uh, refers the physical and the human aspects of locations, which take into consideration the toponym, site, and the situations of specific area. 
Toponym is all about name of places, site descriptions of feature of the places, and again, a uh, situation is here, environmental condition, what it looks like. That is expressed by the hotness can be, with the coldness of the specific area, and others. Since every, every aspect of the world, or every areas of the world have their own unique features in terms of can be land forms in terms of uh, water systems or hydrology in terms of soil system in terms of uh, biogeography and others so the name of place the site and the condition is based on these unique features of the place can have so the concepts of place help geographers in order to compare and contrast two areas over the world. Human environmental interaction is human being is always dependent on the environment. Human being in order to live just interact within the spatial features daily. So during of human being interact within the nature three uh, fundamental aspects may happen dependency adaptation and the modification dependency is the way human being is just dependent on nature in order to live adaptation is yes. the way that human being modify himself towards of changed environment is said to be adaptation but modification is the way human is going to modify the normal environment towards of what his environment by conquering that is specially said to be modification so uh, there is a difference between modification and adaptation that must be understood in this angle movement is the fourth themes of geography movement is a translocation of human being and their goods and their ideas from one area towards of another area in a spatial realm. The physical movement of people that is allowed human race to inhabit all continents and islands of the world. Wherefore, when people move from one area towards of another area, always they transport or they move with their goods, with their habits, with their ideas, so that is said to be a movement especially the most common third dimensions of uh, movement aspect is the flow of ideas the flow of idea is uh, different from that of brain drain the brain drain is the movement of scholars from one area towards of another areas but flow of ideas the movement of idea can be on internet can be on geographical area from one area towards of another areas said to be movement so during of studying geography movement must be under consideration region is the fifth theme and the last themes of geography region is a geographical area having of distinctive or different features or characteristics distinguishes itself from adjacent in space specifically there are two kinds of region is there the formal regions and uh, the nodal or functional region is there formal region bounded in terms of different aspects just like soil temperature rainfall and others for example our world our globe divided into three based on temperature that is temperature region so called the tropical temperate and the polar regions in ethiopia more than 10 region is available that region is just a bounded based on culture from cultural elements that is uh, language functional or nodal region is the region that provide a different or functional interrelationships in spatial systems for example Addis Ababa may have 
these kinds of uh, functions, nodal kinds of functions.